Hi, Tracy Lewis from Stuff and Things. I have finally got a chance to work on my stamp organization. I ended up with five total books that were recovered from the accident. These are all pretty beat up. They've got road rash. A lot of the green sleeves tore. In fact, one book, this was all in one book, and they all tore and fell out. And the book was so hammered, I threw it away before we even ended up going anywhere with this, with it. This one is torn, and it has some of the cling rubber sleeves, and I might cut those down, but I decided I didn't like how the Martha Stewart green two-up sleeves uh, held up. They were not very sturdy and had wear marks. And when I would put the stamp and die set in, it would pretty much pull constantly on the the rubber stamps. I mean, on, on the sleeves. So I wasn't very happy with my storage solution. And I ended up researching various vertical options. And so this is my, my makeshift storage. I ended up buying from Amazon checkout store brand sleeves. You get twice as many for a, a couple dollars more than the Avery L sleeves. They're a lot taller. So if you look sideways, most of these are four by six. Some of them are six by eight, but pretty much most of them are four by six. So if I pull it out, let's pull out a Newton's Nook. It looks like this in the container. I've, I've been pretty good at saving my, I guess, marketing papers when I buy stuff. So I had, a, these were in the Martha Stewart sleeves. So I'm glad that I can actually keep the Newton's Nook brand so that it's really easy to see. I used my label maker, you can see, and I added brands in the front. And then I, the only thing I went with were sentiments in the back and miscellaneous in the middle where I just had a couple, I have a frog set of stamps and some animals and mushrooms that don't have an apparent brand on them. So they have to go under miscellaneous unless I can dig in and figure out what their brand is. So now I have three books worth of stamps. So three of the three inch binders are now in this box and I have two more to go. I have started my die recollection. I'm doing no stamp cutouts because I did get my brother scan and cut and it is working, working very well. So I have matting and shapes for dies, which I've only bought a few of. And then I also have um, embossing folders, which I just got. My question to myself is, do I want to get a tall enough container to be able to put a lid on it? To try to protect, I have done a couple of things. The stamp set is actually taped to the magnet sheet. The magnet sheet is holding the dies. The stamp is in the front on top. And then I have it slid into the sleeve that does have a closure, but it, it I haven't sealed it in any way. But, but because I'm in a trailer and there's a lot of movement and doors can fly open, these would typically be stored in an overhead shelving unit, and I would prefer them to be closed. So I will be investigating other options. I might have to cut these down height-wise. They're... Uh, about half an inch taller than the plastic sleeves that I have everything in. So I get to investigate that more, but so far, and I have just did this tonight, so I can't really reflect on whether I like the solution or not. So I'll have to come back in a week or two and, and give my thoughts.
right, I have finished organizing storage for stamps, embossing folders, and dies. Stamps are these two boxes, and they used to live in the binders, which I've already shown you what they looked like. They Most of the stamps were able to be put in the smaller size sleeve. I'm trying to show you. Uh, this is the smaller size sleeve. I think it's a five and a half by seven and three quarter size sleeve. There were a few tall stamps that needed to have, like this size here is the five and a half by eight and a half. So this, this length of stamp needed the taller sleeve. So I have used both sides sizes of sleeves now. And for embossing folders, oh, one thing you'll notice here with the stamps is I have put back all of the packaging so that for any of the stamps that I had packaging, it is contained in the set itself. I don't have all of them, but where I did have the packaging, I kept it. Um, some, of, some of it was in storage that I pulled out and some of it was actually with the stamps in the books like the Whimsy stamps. I have two stamps in here and both of the designs are on the outside so that you can see what it is. In the case of my new embossing folders, this time I went with an affiliate brand, which is Cuddlebug. They have the name of the embossing folder, which is great, but I did also retain all of the packaging and it will go back into storage with all of my other packaging. So this is all of the packages that I had. I put them all back in the plastic and those will all get stored again. And with the dies, I decided not to go with cutting out pieces because I don't have enough of the cardstock, thick, thick cardstock or manila folders. So in this case, I'm just doing full sheets of the magnet sheets. I also have in the back the original packaging and in this case I was able to double up on the circles. This is Gina Marie and so in the package in the back there are actually two sets of packaging. The ovals and the rectangles were too long to store doubled up but I still kept the size of the magnet sheet the same. So it's going to cost a little bit more money than it did before, and we'll have to see how it goes with weight. But this time around, I bought that Brother Scan and Cut, which is working quite well. So I should not have to collect as many sets of dies as I have. So for stamps that have matching dies, I'm going to forego buying the die for it. I will buy the matting dies, and then I did also buy for... theme type dies. I have this set and I have animals and I will still be collecting some sets like this. Not as many as I would before and I'm hoping to experiment with the Brother Scan and Cut and get comfortable with using um, online images, downloading them and then cutting them out to simulate having those same dies without having to buy them. So this is what my storage looks like. I'm going to go with it. My husband would like me to find taller boxes. I did make these quite tall for now, and I can shorten them. If I find a box that doesn't go as tall as the brown dividers, I can go ahead and trim them down as I need to. And then another tactic I'm going to try that I started about halfway through this is the corners of the label tend to peel up. So my father-in-law's tactic is to cut them off at a 45. So you'll start seeing in my videos all of my cuts for my labels will be at a 45. So I have to toy with whether these ones I did earlier in the week here that weren't cut with the corners at a 45 if I'm going to redo them or not. So it's about 50-50 right now and I will consider actually getting back in there and redoing those. So that's my storage. And I will come back with an update 
as I play with this with this setup one thing I will say is that these sleeves are very slick so like if you want to grab if I'm if I'm reordering the boxes and I'm moving things around to make them more evenly weighted these bags slip so they're very very slick just like the Stampin' Up boxes are very slick so you just have to be careful of that I haven't actually done a lot of crafting where I'm pulling items out of these boxes yet so it'll probably be a little bit of time maybe a month or two before I come back with an assessment of how I like it uh, versus the binders now I definitely know that things are more contained I before my dies were not contained they were loose and they would fall off the sheets that I made because I didn't have them solid magnets I was cutting out strips of magnets and putting them on manila folders that were doubled so hopefully this is going to be a, a way better way of containing my stuff. That box of dies, if I ever had to have dropped it, it would have been a giant mess. So I'm trying to avoid the, the risks of giant messes if things get dropped. So this so far seems to be the safest way to store my items. And we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching.